Hey everyone, so this is another tutorial by Ashley from Enchant Me Not. I'm going to show you how to record just your voice for a YouTube video. I'm using a MacBook Pro with iMovie version 8. However, this technique works in pretty much any version of iMovie. So the first thing you need to do is get an image that you want playing in the background while you talk. Um, if you're taking part in the Ice Caves, um, this is my accent challenge then you can just use the image that I'm using, which is provided on the Ice Caves page. And if not, you can use any image you want, really. You just need to make sure that they fit within the YouTube um, window size so that none of your image gets cropped off. So you need to find and save your image. Mine is just stored on my desktop. And then um, next you can go and open up iMovie and create a new project. Um, so you can just call this sample video and then go back to your image and just drag it into the iMovie project that you're working on. If you look at the end of the video, just hovering over it, you'll notice that it's about four seconds long. Most people are going to be talking like this and so you need to come and click up the clock at the front or at the beginning of the image and change the duration to 60, sec 60 seconds. If you're speaking for longer than this, then just copy the image and paste it again at the bottom. This is because uh, iMovie only lets you have, have images playing for 60 seconds. However, if you just copy and paste it again at the bottom, it'll keep the same, se same settings, so that's not a problem. Also, if you talk for less time, you can always just come and change the time again, which I probably will during this video. So one thing that iMovie does is it lets the images zoom in and out, as you can see. Okay, it's not, yeah. So to avoid this from happening, you can just click on Fit, and this takes away the red and green boxes that showed up on your screen. And once you click Fit, it means that the image is just going to stay in the place that it is for the whole video. So the next thing to do is click at the beginning of your video and then you can click on the voiceover or record option. And just make sure the settings are all the same, that you have built-in microphone chosen and your input volume is not too loud, not too high because this increases static if it's too loud. And then check that your left and right um, bars are moving roughly the same because this shows how well your computer is picking up your voice. If you're sitting on the left of your computer, your left will probably be higher than your right, so just make sure you're roughly in the middle as well. And then once you're ready to record, you can just click on the image somewhere, click on part of your image clip over here, and wait for the countdown to start. I'm just going to record a dummy message, um, which will probably be only a couple of seconds long, but obviously you can record your message for as long as you want. And once you're done recording your message, you just need to click on the image again and that will stop the recording. So I'm going to record a message right now. This is a dummy message just to test and show all you people that this is how to record a message using iMovie. If you could notice, there's this purple bar that appears below the image. Um, this is one of the great things about iMovie. It shows you all the different areas that it adds and takes away content. So if you add music or if you add um, special features like titles onto your image or into your video, it just creates these bars either on top or below the images. Um, but that's something I'll go into in another tutorial some other time. So this purple bar only comes to here, which is 7.4 seconds, while my image goes on and on and on. So you can just go to the beginning and crop the image length to 7.4 or to whatever length that your video is. And then you can just test the video and make sure that it works for you. You can either play it in the, um, in the iMovie frame and make sure it works. This is a dummy message. Just or you can choose um, to play it in full screen and make sure that your image isn't distorted. And you can do that by playing or by clicking on this this symbol over here, which is the play project full screen. This is a dummy message. And what you can do here, I just paused it quickly. 
But what you can do here is just kind of cut into different parts of the video. This is how to record a message. And um, you can press play obviously and then once you're done testing to make sure it's all working out, you can click on close. Now all you need to do now is to save and upload it to YouTube. You can click on share and I suggest you export the movie using QuickTime because this increases the quality of your video, especially the image quality. If you share using YouTube, it doesn't give you, especially the high definition options, it doesn't give you that. So the image clarity is severely reduced. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below or on the Ice Caves This Is My Accent Challenge if it's anything specific to that. And I will be more than happy to get back to you as soon as possible.